Micaiah Bryant, 16 years old, tragically lost her life. She was shot right before she attempted to stab another woman. The way I see it, this cop is a hero, not a villain. He saved the other woman's life. People have become so adamant about portraying cops as racist that they are blind to the evidence right before their very eyes. LeBron James made a threatening post that he later took down. Another tweet reads, You're not with Oh no. It was coming up again. More vomit. No, wait a minute. What is this? Actual vomit. Teenagers have been having fights, including fights involving knives, for eons. We do not need police to address these situations by showing up to the scene and using a weapon against one of these teenagers. Y'all need help. I mean that seriously. Well, Miss Newsome here, I think, needs help seeing the facts right before her very eyes. I mean, I don't like to make light of tragedy and people dying, but the excuses and narrative that people spew out of their mouths is just becoming laughable at this point. Really tough morning listening to all the criticism that LeBron Le uh, James is getting. Um, I'm a fan of LeBron. I admire the work that he's done, how he's helped his community, and how he's helped his friends, uh, and how he's been fighting all of these social issues, especially that of systemic racism in the legal system and with the police departments around our country. But you can't fight every battle. You know, you can't. Uh, you got to pick your battles. I mean, it's a war that must be fought, but sometimes you need to take your time and be a little more patient before you comment on some of these um, um, bad incidences that are happening with police departments. Uh, this one, uh, LeBron should have waited. Uh, I'm a little upset with most of the media because they showed us edited versions of what took place with the girl with the knife. They made it sound as if this was another police officer uh, overreacting and killing a young black American. Well, from what I saw when I saw the full tape, the police um, guy had no choice. He responded. We wish he could have pulled a taser. We wish he could have done it uh, in another way. But in that instance, if he hadn't done what he did, it appeared to me if another young American would have had her life taken uh, um, um, and, hey, I can't fault what he did. I wish it was different, but I can't fault it. But, LeBron, keep fighting the fight. I think we all got to be a little more patient. I'm against defunding the police. I think you just got to redirect some of those funds to better training and maybe dealing with more uh, uh, psychological training. In any event, God bless. Wear your mask, get your shots. I'm just saying. The majority of you, probably by now, know that CNN is just garbage. But I seriously think hell just froze over. I cannot believe what the infamous Lemonhead had to really say about all this. People are anguished watching another video like this, and I get it. But even in our anguish, we cannot abandon the responsibility we have to be fair. And even while our hearts are hurting, we have to judge each incident based on what we see and the facts we know. When I look at this video, I see police responding to a dangerous incident where someone is armed with a knife. Police have walked up on a situation they need to figure out what's happening. Other lives are in danger. If we're going to discuss this case, we need to be honest and use our common sense. We cannot have a double standard. We have to acknowledge that police have jobs to do. Oh, y'all gonna kill me like Makai Bryant? Fuck. Are you gonna stab somebody like her? No. Okay. She, but she That's called y'all for help. Nobody. Fuck is you talking about? Get your goofy ass. I can't. And you just said that on camera. This shit going viral.